This conversation between myself, Dr. Aku, and Dr. Ma'at is about integrating mysticism with black psychology. Hi, Dr. Aku. Greetings, Dr. Ma'at. So let's talk about integrating being mystic as black psychologists, African-centered black psychologists. So how do you integrate being a mystic as a, as a psychologist? Well, that has been a developmental process for, for me. When I, I went to graduate school to get my degree, which is in clinical psychology, there wasn't very much discussion of spirituality, religion, or even in my program, much about being a person of color in the work. You know, it was very, um, very clinical, somewhat Freudian, and there was only one class, which was an elective on working with people of color. So my education, this was not something that was a part of my education at all. It's something that I've really had to develop in addition to the skills that I learned uh, as a clinical psychologist. And a lot of that has been through the Association of Black Psychologists um, in discussion with you um, and additional you know, study and, um, and direct experience with the people that I have worked with. So that as my mysticism grew, so to speak, as, as my connection to the divine grew and the importance of spirit in my personal life grew, it also led me to develop more of an importance of spirituality in my professional life. And the people that I work with, predominantly people of color, uh, spirituality is almost always in there for them, always con important, connected, sometimes very rooted in religion, sometimes not. But for almost everybody that I've worked with, it has been something that has been important. And so as I've developed as a mystic and a psychologist, I've integrated it more and more to the point now that I get energized by doing work with people that is focused on spirituality and spirit and developing um, personal connection to spirit or for some people developing um, a deeper connection through religion and I don't get as fed I don't get as excited um, doing work that is just basic clinical psychology work um, if it's cool. not if you have a connection to spirit then it's not something that I enjoy doing I have the skills to do it I can do it just fine but the work that it, that feeds me the work that I really enjoy is when we are explicitly talking about spiritual connections and I'm helping people find a way to strengthen that connection and use that guidance of spirit to help them have peace in their lives. Can you just elaborate or explain a little bit about your development as a psychologist because there might be students or people who aren't as familiar with what it means to be a psychologist or what kind of psychologist you are? Mm -hmm. Okay, I can certainly try. Um, as a licensed clinical psychologist, many, many years of uh, formal education. In fact, it took me eight years to get my degree. Uh, my degree is from Long Island University, downtown Brooklyn, New York. Um, and so many classes on uh, psychological, um, different psychological theories, um, ways of, of thinking and being, uh, but I'd say that most of my learning came from the direct work, doing actual clinical work, working with people and having supervision, where um, I had a more senior psychologist help guide me through the work that I was doing. And that's where, because I was working primarily with, with people of color, where some of this stuff um, in terms of religion and spirituality, because that's just who they are, would start to come in, but the supervisors I had, they weren't, they didn't specialize in this, in education. When I was in, um, in school, they didn't specialize in spirituality. So it came up, it was, it was part of what we did, but it wasn't the emphasis, it wasn't the forefront, um, like it is now, like it is when I supervise um, students now, the people I supervise tend to want to integrate spirituality into their work so I can guide them from all the experiences I've had and all of the additional training um, and integration I've done. I can help guide people in doing that. 
Uh, did I answer your question? You did. And some of that training I know has come from being a member and a part of the Association of Black Psychologists for many, many years. Exactly. In fact, that's where you and I met and, um, and know each other from. And you and I um, have both had a lot of training through the Association of Black Psychologists, um, both the national and the New York chapter uh, that we're both members of. And it's through that connection that you and I started this journey of becoming, um, of being mystic psychologists, mystic mommies, um, and being incredibly close friends like sisters. Yes. Because we share a lot of the same understanding and we have an, uh, uh, this fabulous opportunity to bounce all of this stuff off of each other, where we have this um, similar training, not the same training, but similar training as psychologists and doctors in psychology, as well as um, not the same mystical understanding completely either, but um, enough of similarities in both areas that you and I can have really supported each other in developing what we do personally and professionally to a different level. Right. So I want to highlight that, yes, so for many years, you and I have met on a regular basis, at least once a week, to support each other as either mommies or as professionals in consultation around, you know, the cases. And there was a turning point, I think, where we shifted in meeting, you know, talking mostly about being moms and life and, you know, sort of personal challenge to really centering that in spirit and centering it in the mystical identities that we have as psychologists. And that's right. So that's, I think, is an empower, a powerful and important point to bring up in terms of as others are trying to develop professionally, the importance of having uh, support and colleagues, um, what we would call a spirit collective, right? A group of people that you connect with around spirit to, to support and hold each other accountable. Um, and, to, and to the work. We do that for so many other people now. Yes. Um, that we provide that kind of support uh, and supervision all over the place. So can you tell us more about your story? Because I, you know, I've spent a lot of time talking about my connection. What about your um, professional spiritual development in terms of integrating spirit in psychology? Yes. So for me, I would also say, again, the Association of Black Psychologists um, was a foundational community to be in to affirm integrating um, concepts about spirituality, African epistemology, um, and ways of knowing that were informed by the deep thought of, of African people. Mm -hmm. And that's relevant to all people, right? And so when I was early in my career, I started as a uh, uh, counseling psychologist. My training is in counseling psychology. I um, studied at Teachers College at Columbia University in their counseling psychology program. I did a, a master's in organizational psychology first and then did the counseling and studied as a part of my dissertation work um, spirit and racism related stress, agricultural coping. And so all those concepts were a part of my formal education in that the multicultural context valued those aspects but there weren't mentors or my you know um, graduate mentors were not versed in these areas and so i felt like you know i was i had the opportunity to do some of the research and thinking um, in very unique and innovative ways because nobody was teaching me it or doing it mm -hmm. and so i over the years have done some work and and research around the concept of spirit and how people define it and how they understand it and we talked about this in a different video in terms of people making distinctions between religion spirituality and spirit and so for many years i worked as a counseling a faculty counselor this is the technical name you would call it and so i taught and also saw students for counseling and in that work it, i was at or well, am still at john jay college of criminal justice in new york which is a um, hispanic serving institution which also has a large um, uh, African-American and African descent and international community. So I had a lot of opportunity to work with students who are part of their core values related to spirituality and religion. And over the years, practiced and developed 
um, different systems in terms of the, the intake process and informed consent process and conceptualization of clients, taking into account their spiritual development and their spiritual journey and have come to a place where uh, it is functioning as a psycho-spiritual um, or mystical psychologist is, is central to how I introduce the work that I do with clients. Um, after a number of years, I worked as the director also at the Counseling Center, and there I was then able to uh, do more supervision of other staff. And in that work, I saw you know, the ability to integrate um, mindfulness types of techniques and other sort of, again, psycho-spiritual perspectives and began to read and study and learn more about the African origins of mindfulness and the way in which those concepts really, you know, all come back to, again, African um, ways of knowing. And one other major, I guess, marker in my development was uh, starting in 2009, between 2009 and 2012, I did an intensive three-year training in transpersonal breathwork and uh, transpersonal psych psychotherapy and spiritual guidance mm -hmm. and spent three years um, practicing uh, breath meditation practices and learning about the sort of transpersonal beyond the personal ways of working with people mm -hmm. um, therapeutically and spiritually in terms of spiritual development and that experience really crystallized for me um, working in a mystical and spiritual context. And I've bridged together that knowledge with the African philosophical um, knowledge that I've acquired and initiatic experiences that I've acquired to now work with clients from a psycho-spiritual perspective, talking, using talk therapy, mm -hmm. but also using the um, breath, also using meditation, also using guided imagery, also using music and dance uh, to support my clients holistically and um, bringing the whole self with um, their understanding and their definition of their sense of spirit, their unseen essence, and being central to the work. Wow, we can do probably a whole series of videos on some of those specific techniques you talked about and yes. how we integrate them um, into our work. But I think that we should probably bring it to a close here because there's so much to talk about. We could go yes. on. Yes. Yeah. So, peace. Peace. For more information about us and what we do, please visit draaku.com, D-R-A-K-H-U.com, and the center for spirit.com center the number four spirit.com